This is body image training for scoliosis. Now, traumatic injuries can cause many individuals to be scoliotic. So that means to be tilted over to one side with some type of spinal curvature. There's many, many different variations of this. But because this curvature is, in most cases, caused by the spinal and trunk muscles being chronically contracted on one particular side, regaining control of these muscles makes it possible to correct this curvature. Does it get rid of it completely? Possibly. Is it gone forever? I don't know. But it definitely can help you become more comfortable in your life. And it can definitely help to change that curve to one degree or the other. Now, to test whether you are scoliotic, stand in front of a mirror, close your eyes, and tilt briefly to one side and then return to what feels like vertical with your eyes still closed. Then open your eyes and look in the mirror to see if the mirror image matches what feels like vertical. Now is your head vertical? Are your shoulders horizontal? Are your two hands hanging down at the same level? Now if you find that you are tilting then you have some type of clear evidence that your body image, or what feels like vertical to you, is distorted and your sense of balance has been disturbed. Now to correct this distorted body image, do the following. So with your eyes closed, tilt to the right, and then return to what feels like vertical. If when you open your eyes, you're off balance, immediately close your eyes again, and try to correct the imbalance purely by sensing your balance, quote unquote, in the dark, meaning with your eyes closed. When you believe you've corrected it, open your eyes again, but don't move. Did you rebalance this time? And if not, close your eyes again and correct your posture until you think you have it balanced. Then, not moving, open your eyes and check again. And if you're still unbalanced, repeat until you end up balanced. Now, the important part of this is that under no circumstance should you attempt to correct your balance with your eyes open. Otherwise, your sensory motor system, your feeling sense, will learn nothing and your posture won't change. If you continue to do this with your eyes open, you're going to gain continual feedback from yourself. And that feedback won't gain your felt sense, your feeling sense, the part of you on the inside that can feel the change to know the difference. It's vitally important that you do this with your eyes closed and then check with your eyes open. Now after getting the correct balance with the eyes closed, repeat the same procedure, except this time you close the eyes and tilt to the left. Then when you get it balanced, do it once more to the right. Then do it once more to the left. And that's absolutely sufficient for one day's training. Now the next day, go through the same procedure again, and you'll discover that you're rapidly becoming a little bit more consistently accurate and becoming a little bit more in line or straight up and down or slightly less curvature. Now after a week or so you'll find that while while you're doing this kind of you know quote unquote in the dark, you'll kind of know exactly where your head and your body are in space. And at that point the correction of your scoliosis will be somewhat complete. So this is assuming that you've also mastered some of the muscle releases from other somatic exercises that you can do. Now this is a critical piece in adjusting your body image and regaining muscular control of your hips, your waist, and your trunk. Your internal image and the external mirror image will be closer and closer to the same the more that you practice. It's absolutely a classic example of biofeedback self-training and very, very important in learning how to control your upright posture and how to help yourself 
become a little bit more pain-free. So good luck. Let me know what you think. I think this is a fantastic way to start to learn how to train yourself in the upright. And uh, it's a very powerful way to help guide yourself into uh, freedom from pain and discomfort. Good luck.